All right, guys, so kind of a good one today. We're on Lake Havasu in our backyard and we're out having a great time. All of a sudden, the boat starts heating up. Usually I run a uh, 160, uh, the boat starts getting up to 200, 210. So obviously my Sherwood Impeller decided to shred. I didn't change it this season yet. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and change it out right here on the water. And I thought I'd do a little video of it for the Ski Nautique guys. And this actually goes for anything with a Merc Cruiser. Um, we're actually a, a Ford GT40 engine in this Nautique, it's a V drive. The direct drives are really easy to change. Everything's wide open. This one's a little tough. Kind of, kind of crawl in there because the motor's reversed, but I think we can get it. So. Uh, Leah's going to hang out, get some sun, and I will uh, crawl in there and change it out so we can get back home. Because if I don't change it, we're not getting back home. And as you can see, I'm in a really cool cove here. So anyhow, all right, guys, I'll let Leah pan it around and show you how cool it is here. It's just a nice little spot, right? Like I said, right in our backyard. But we'll uh, change it out. I'll show you the process. Might as well make a video out of something like this, right? <laughs> right on, guys. All right, well, let's raise the lid and I'll uh, show the guys the motor and we'll start this deal. What do you think? Let's do it. All right. That's a little warm in there. So the pump is right in that corner there. That's where the pump is. So I can move those wooden, they're wooden covered in carpet sides there. Those move out. I'm gonna move that out and then I'll get to my pump. Uh, and of course I've got my full tool kit, always carry it. Um, not only for myself, for other boats. It's kind of fun to fix stuff on the water. Anyways, all right, let's get back into there. All right, guys, so here's the motor, um, PCM Marine. The uh, pump on the V-Drive is located right here in this corner. I've already removed it. Super easy to do. Two hoses, a couple of uh, half, half inch bolts. Half inch is really weird for me since everything I do is metric. Anyhow, let me show you the pump. Here's the pump. Um, hey, Leah. Uh -huh. So the pump, make sure you mark it. I put an arrow for up and then mark the pump on the case, the case and the body of this pump so that you don't put it in the wrong location when you rebuild it. Because if you do, you're not gonna get any water if it's upside down. And it is super easy to do. So. Um, we're, we're really having a good time. This is kind of fun to do this out in the water. Um, it's kind of fun because if we don't get it right, we're not going to get back unless we call US Tow, which I am a member of. You should be too. And if not, you got to wait for somebody like me. I usually stop when guys flag, put flags out to see if they need help. So anyhow, we're in a little bit of a location where we're kind of hidden in a cove, as you can see. It's a really cool cove, but not a good cove if you need help, because not too many people come back here. That's kind of the problem, right? So anyhow, so I'm gonna go ahead and open that up and I'll show you the impeller, what it looks like. And then uh, we'll be reinstalling it. And then uh, we'll probably just keep hanging out here because it's so nice, but we know we got a turnkey boat again. So, all right, check it out. Yeah, like anybody's looking at the pump. <laughs> All right, guys, so here it is. We're gonna go ahead and uh, pull it out of there. Let's check it out and see what it looks like. So there's my mark, arrow up. So in other words, it sits like this in the motor. Okay, let's check it out. Okay, there it is. All right, so we're gonna set this down. Don't lose your O-ring. That's the O-ring right there. You gotta. I mean, if you had a brand new set, you would put a new O-ring. We don't. So we're going to keep that one, make sure that one stays good. 
and then we got this there's the impeller oh, let's take a look at it like i said it was working at high speed but at idle was not doing anything for us so here we go uh, there it is see like i said it's gonna be missing a lot of pedals there it is all shredded up pretty ugly see that's why it would work at high speed but at idle it was heating right up and if you can see the arms are really set set over and just totally disintegrating so anyways so that's what we're going to replace we'll put a new one in there put it back together make sure it goes in on the right rotation no big deal put it back in the motor so let's carry on we'll get rid of this don't throw it in the water come on Awesome, thanks. Alright, go ahead and try to start it. Alright. Okay, go ahead. We got everything in there, it's all ready to go. Let's start it up and watch our temperature. Go ahead and cut that engine, Leah. All right, so very important, scratch it so that you know which way's up. Scratch the housing so you install it in the right position. Always carry another one. Uh, even if it's a used one when you do your seasonal change, which I didn't do, I should have, I didn't. But even the one that, uh, the seasonal change one that's still good, just throw it in your toolbox it's gonna to be good now i'll go home i will order a new one um i think i'm just gonna let this one go for a while it was pretty good uh that was a season change impeller so it was not worn out didn't have any issues like the one that we took out so all right guys have a nice day we're gonna get home uh, a little bit here and we're going to um i've got the doom buggy done but as you know we're in havasu it's 115 uh, 118 and the dune buggy is done but it does not like the heat it's really hot to run it let alone drive inside like if you're driving in front of a uh, hot air blow dryer so anyways uh, that's why we've been a little quiet I will jump back into the videos uh, the 3 2 is gonna be built here real soon I've got Sean's motor going got that long block I did that video on my Facebook and my Instagram I'll uh, put that together, the whole video, as soon as uh, I'm done with that motor. We're not done with it yet. So, anyways, all right, guys, enjoy your summer. We are. Um, we'll catch you on the next video. Probably a 1964 356. We just wrapped up for Russ going back to Palm Springs, California. All right. Say bye, Leah. Bye. All right. Bye, guys. All right, guys, so we're pulling it out. We're going to go ahead and take it out. We're going to go take it out and uh, run it on the main lake. Take, we're going to get out of the cove here. That was pretty hot in there. We just got a towel and kind of wet everything down, wet the top of the exhaust. That was pretty warm. But I tell you what, that was pretty, pretty fun to do. Um, it's nice not to be worried about little things like that. Don't be scared to attempt that. Not a big deal. Seriously, not a big deal. Uh, when you disconnect the hoses, the, water, the boat does not flood out. A lot of guys stink because you pull the hose off. It's going to fill the boat up water. I didn't get any water from the hose being removed like that. Um, I'm 
talking about the one that pulls the water out of the bottom of the boat, no big deal. So now we hit the main lake and we're running, we're good. So anyhow, all right, catch you on the next video. Bye.